welcome back to the channel guys my name is gordon we are back with another video today we're talking about everything you need to know about bittensor tau as always if you enjoy the content please make sure to smash that thumbs up button below hit subscribe we're on the road to our first 100k subscribers and don't forget to grab your completely free copy of the rise of bitcoin it is my gift to you grab it now in the description below and let's talk about bittensor But first, a very quick shout out to today's sponsor, Crucible Labs, the wallet for BitTensor. Built by the founding engineers of BitTensor itself, Crucible is the only Tau native wallet with full ledger integration. It now includes profit and loss tracking as well, and a clear, transparent transaction history, so you always know where your Tau is working. Plus, with the smart allocator feature, you can now automatically put your rewards to work across subnets and grow your stack hands-free. Make sure to check out the link in the description below this video for the Crucible wallet. Go ahead, install it now, and check it out. So jumping in, everything you need to know about BitTensor Tau, let's sum it up here in one video, because if you're new and you're figuring out subnets, you're figuring out BitTensor, it can be a lot of information. So let's make it simple. In short, BitTensor Tau is a network of AI startups that are called subnets. Okay, I've covered this many, many times on the channel. I've been interviewing subnet founders. I've been featuring different subnets in specific videos. But what we mean by this is effectively, you've got all of these miniature subnets, AI startups. This BitTensor Tau network is indeed a network of networks. And all of those individual subnets are competing against each other to provide the best intelligence back to the network as a whole. And ultimately, they get rewarded for doing so. At this moment in time, subnets are earning or fighting to earn a share of the 7,200 daily Tau emissions that are coming out every single day. In just a few days time, we are seeing the first halving event happening for Tau and the daily reward issuance is going to drop by 50% to 3,600 Tau per day. What does that mean? It means the pot is smaller. It means the competition is going to increase because all of the subnets are now fighting for 50% as much emissions on a daily basis. Okay, all of these individual subnets are indeed individual businesses, individual AI startups, all competing against each other, but feeding the network as a whole to make it incrementally more intelligent every day, every week, every month. Hopefully this is kind of resonating with you because ultimately that's the heart of what makes BitTensor so unique. It's incentivizing the creation of intelligence via subnets and using the reward mechanism of the BitTensor Tau token itself as the way to actually execute that reward function. Okay, that brings up another very good point because subnets are priced in Tau. What do we mean by that? Well, when you first begin to learn about subnets, it's very difficult to fully grasp what they are. Using a terminal like taustats.io is very, very useful because if we come over into the subnet explorer, we can now filter here and show all subnets in the BitTensor ecosystem, there is a hard cap of 128 subnets at this moment in time. That will increase in future. But when you see all of these different subnets, the important thing to note is the price of them is denominated in Tau terms. What does that mean? It means Ridges is priced at 0.04 Tau per subnet alpha token. I should have also mentioned every single individual subnet has a hard cap supply of 21 million subnet alpha tokens as well. So there's ever there's only ever going to be 21 million tau in existence, but then every individual subnet has their own alpha token and there's only going to ever be 21 million of each of those individual alpha tokens in existence as well. Okay, but here's the big thing. Here is the kicker because these tokens are priced in tau terms. That is different. It is fundamentally different to any ecosystem before it because unlike ERC20 tokens on Ethereum or tokens that you're creating on pump.fun with Solana, because the tokens are denominated in Tau terms and Tau is a fixed supply asset, it means the total sum value of all subnets can only ever be 21 million Tau um, in total. And so we've only got about 10.4, 10.5 million Tau in circulation right now, but I'll draw your attention to the market cap column over here. You can see the market caps for each of these subnets denominated in Tau terms. The market cap for shoots is 307,000 tau. The market cap for ridges is 157,000 tau and so on and so forth. And because these 
because these subnets are measured in tau price, it means that you have to see value accrue to the tau price itself as these subnets grow and expand, because this brings me on to the next point, subnets earn staking yield. Okay. Again, unlike other ecosystems, when you, for example, sell Ethereum to purchase another Ethereum based token in the BitTensor world, you are technically staking tau to receive a subnet alpha token. And so there's liquidity pools for all of these individual subnets. If I click into Ridges, for example, you can see a deeper breakdown of all the mechanics with Ridges specifically. It's priced at 0 0.043 Tau. That is technically equal to $12.57 based on the dollar price of Tau today, which is $288. But we can also see a further breakdown of the tokenomic structure here with total issue tokens being 3.7 million, fully diluted value at 264 million, current market cap at 45 million. And then you can see the tau and alpha in the liquidity pool. This is what I'm referencing. When you actually want to get exposure to an alpha token like Ridges, you must stake tau into the liquidity pool and then receive the alpha token in return for your staked tau. It's not like that tau gets sold onto the open market. It's staked into the Ridges alpha pool and you get the alpha token in return. And then what's phenomenal about tau at this moment in time is that the subnets themselves earn yield by virtue of the fact that you own or have exposure to a subnet alpha token like Ridges, you are earning phenomenal APY and yield over time simply for owning it. Yes, that means every single day you're going to earn more Ridges tokens in your wallet by virtue of the fact that you just took on exposure to this startup that is ultimately trying to compete with other coding agents in the centralized world, just like Cursor, just like Claude AI, etc. That is a side note. I'm not going to talk about ridges or individual subnets too much here in this particular video, because when you look over here on Tau market cap, and I've just selected one of the validators as an example, the Tau Phi validator, and I scroll down here, you can start to understand how much APY you can be earning from having exposure to these individual subnets. For example, if you own and have exposure to Templar subnet alpha token, i.e. if you think Templar has a future and you want to get exposure to it, you're going to be earning 57% APY simply for owning and holding it. Subnet number five, Hone. From just owning and holding Hone, you're earning 204% APY. You know, more examples here. Subnet number nine, IOTA, you're earning 167% APY simply from holding the subnet alpha token. And if I jump back to our Ridges example, remembering that all the tokens are priced in Tau terms, if I zoom out to a daily chart here, this is showing us the price of Ridges denominated in Tau terms. Okay, I might have to refresh the page here if the chart is not loading. But the point I want to make here is that the idea or the goal is really to try and select individual subnets that have the potential to outperform Tau on a percentage basis because Ridges right now is priced at 0 0.043 Tau. But just a few weeks ago, it was priced up closer to 0.1 Tau. So if you're looking to actually take on exposure to individual subnets that have the potential to outperform Tau, that is the goal. Yes, because you're going to have outperformance and the amount of Tau in your wallet is going to grow over time. But ultimately, you're also generating and earning that staking yield to help you accrue even more value in the form of alpha tokens in your wallet. I know this can sound uh, you know, a little bit difficult to wrap your full head around, guys, but I urge you to jump in and explore Tau stats, explore the individual subnets, start understanding the incentive mechanisms behind the subnets as well, understanding how staking works. I can't cram it all into one video, but I did a full hour long deep dive on the channel a few weeks ago. Go back and check that out. Search for Tau on my channel and you'll find it. And so you can still see that even though Ridges has pulled back a little bit here over the past few weeks, if we measure its performance versus Tau or when priced in Tau going back to even just the end of April here, it's still technically up over 3,500% versus Tau in the past 220 days. That is a perfect setup. That is the type of subnet you want to be investing in in the early stages so that you can accrue this value over time and multiply the amount of Tau that you ultimately have exposure to, knowing that in future, because subnets are priced in Tau, value has to accrue to Tau in dollar terms if these subnets are going to grow and if they're going to actually be legitimate businesses generating revenue and competing with their centralized counterparts. Okay, this is a phenomenal opportunity. Um, I don't think there's a better asymmetric opportunity compared to BitTensor Tau and everything happening in the Tau ecosystem at this moment in time.
yes, I know on the surface, when you look at the bittensor.com website, you know, it is very, very difficult to understand. It's a blank page with a, you know, scrolling animation and you have to really start diving into the about page. And this doesn't even paint a very good picture. You have to get into the terminals like Taustats or Tau.app or hop on over to Backprop Finance to start trading different alpha tokens, using sites like Tau Market Cap to understand the type of APY that you can be generating from simply having exposure to subnet alpha tokens. You're going to have to set up a wallet like your Crucible wallet. You're going to have to get the funds from a centralized exchange into that self-custody wallet to start purchasing and staking subnet alpha tokens. Nothing is going to come free or easy here, guys, but this is still an asymmetric opportunity when you can be earning 50 to 200% APY on these subnet alpha tokens at this moment in time and just imagine where the price of tau could be in two three four or even five years from today the final point i want to make here is that tau is an incentive layer for intelligence i know that sounds vague it might be difficult to fully grasp as well but for me i'm still unraveling this because the incentive mechanisms for all of the individual subnets require huge amounts of effort to refine and continuous refinement over time is super important for that but what i really mean is that when you're seeing the amount of incentive that these subnets are creating to get the highest quality, um, most useful information for their subnets so they can ultimately earn more yield and emissions from Tau as a whole, you start to see the competition really intensify. And I'm gonna give one example here with Ridges because when you click over here, you have to understand that Ridges is ultimately paying out $65,000 every 24 hours to the top miner on their subnet, okay? What does this mean when we think about the growth of AI in a decentralized manner? You have individual subnets able to pay developers $65,000 per day. This is the top miner who's earning 65K. You know, imagine people working a full-time job all year for a smaller salary than this, and you can earn it in 24 hours by being the top miner on one individual subnet. Okay, the um, incentives that these subnets are creating are so powerful that they're beginning to attract huge amounts of talent. And that's what I mean by the intelligence and incentive layer, you know, the incentivization of um, intelligence with people coming to the network, competing against each other to produce the best outcomes for individual subnets is only going to accelerate. You're going to see more and more um, intelligent miners joining subnets, competing against each other, providing extremely useful and valuable information to the network as a whole, and then seeing the entire network grow accordingly. So that is what I wanted to cover here today, guys. Um, you know, I know it's a lot to wrap your head around, but I wanted to cover the, the fundamentals in this video because I really do not think there is a better asymmetric opportunity right now. The prices of Tau itself currently sitting at $287. I know, um, you know, I try to be as objective as possible when I'm analyzing different assets, but I really haven't seen something like Tau in a long time. And I do think there's a huge amount of asymmetric opportunity in dollar terms when we do see liquidity conditions picking up again. And when ultimately we see the fruits of what all these subnets have been building under the hood come to light. And, you know, most most projects, I mentioned this on, a, on an interview lately, but most projects are priced at a certain market cap and the fundamentals under the hood do not justify the price that the market cap of the token or the project is at. For me, I think Tau is the opposite. I think the market cap of the project is sitting at, um, you know, a two or three, three point three billion dollars at this moment in time. And <clears throat> I think the the price and the market cap of the asset itself actually needs to play catch up to all of the fundamental um strong businesses that are actually operating and generating revenue and generating emissions under the hood. So take from that what you will. I wanted to make this um, super uh, intense video just to kind of cover the fundamentals to really show you everything you need to know about BitTensor. And yes, you are going to need to dive a bit deeper into some of these individual topics, but drop a comment below this video. Which specific topic would you love to see a video or a dedicated video on here on the channel? Let me know in the comments below and we will get it out to you. That is it for today's video, guys. That is everything you need to know about BitTensor Tau, at least for the moment. Obviously, you're going to keep deeping, diving deeper into uh, everything else that is out there in the world of BitTensor Tau. Um, if you enjoyed the content, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Let's do it right now. I would love you just to take three seconds right under my finger, smash that thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe. We're on the road to our first 100,000 subscribers. It would mean the world if you followed along for that journey. Make sure to subscribe. Um, grab your free copy of The Rise of Bitcoin as well, and we'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>